Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And in today's tutorial, we're going to be going over actions. Okay, so in my last tutorial, I went over checkpoints, which is a type of action. Uh, just the basics, set checkpoint, next checkpoint, and restart checkpoint. So today, I thought I would just go over the other part of actions, which is, you know, coin, kill, kill all enemies, invincibility, power up, and strike. And then lastly, and most bestly, gameplay. So basically, these are all actions. Okay, so I'm adding this action. This yellow one will be coin. And a coin is can be used for many things. It can be used for purchasing in-app in items, like different spaceships or different backgrounds or whatever you would like. Or it can be used to keep points. There's a point system, but you can also use coins. So whatever you like, you can use it. And, and in every action, you should know that it has show coin reward, and this is where a little plus one will come out from the item. And you can do this also on points. So there's points and there's coins. I generally, if I'm keeping track of points, I use points. Uh, coins, again, is more for like in-app purchases or uh, if you want another measure, if you want another measure of keeping track of a score instead of points. So you you have your points, which is what you want, and then you also want coins for whatever reason for purchasing items. And then, so you, all you do is you select here coin, and then you have, well, we're just gonna change it to one, that's for like tens a lot. And yeah, and the duration is how long it lasts, chance of appearance is 100%. So this is actually very useful if you are making a level and you can put them or a scene, and you can put the coin in every single scene and then only give it a 10% chance of appearing. This is better than putting the coin in one, one out of 10 scenes and giving it a 100 chance, chance of appearing. It gives it a better flow to the game when you have the coins all over the place at a lower percentage. So let me go in, and I'm actually going to go into the world UI, add, score, now you could do it for four coins right here. Best current total. Let me just put it up here. You got the score for the coins. And I believe you can this five five. So now we know this is a coin. And we can just put the put this coin everywhere and then check it out. There's a coin. So now we have one coin. And depending on your gameplay, you may not want the one to pop out from the coin. Here, look at this, it looks a little better like that, but you may want it to. It, it totally depends on the style of the game. So that's coin, let's add another action. This one will be kill all enemies, kills all the enemies on the screen at that particular moment. I think this is the most important piece. Uh, invincibility makes your character invincible, so whatever you do, your character will not die. And then strike is when collected, a button when pressed will kill enemies in contact with player. So this will just kill any enemies in contact with the player. So let's just go ahead and check out kill all enemies first. Here it's usually good to remove these. Um, you can also have it if you want that kill all enemies gives you points. You can do that. Kill all enemies. Here we can watch add one point and then go to the world UI and then below here we'll have this do total of points. Just to show you that you can have actions do multiple things at one time. So now we just need to add kill all enemies game. This one over here. Okay, so, there's no, so here we see one enemy and I guess this will just kill him. You know what, it looks like the sides were also enemies and that's why the side disappeared too. So let me, so right now this side is an enemy but it probably has a lot of health. But if you get it, it destroys all Anything that's an enemy. It's a good example because kill all enemy. I wasn't even aware that this platform was an enemy. Now I see that it is an enemy. So killing all enemies doesn't always work. And if it does, you have to make sure that nothing else on the screen is an enemy because that will just disappear. Kill all enemy is great because if you have a lot of enemies coming all around you, boom, they can be dead. However, if you have anything that's like a set infrastructure or a set piece on the level, also as an enemy, 
then that just won't work. So next, we're gonna make this blue one a power-up magnet. Oh, power-up magnets are cool. Okay, so what a power-up magnet does is essentially grabs all the coins. So let's, we, here we have coins. Go ahead and just make these coins like this. And again, I'm just pressing W up to copy. This is one of the great things about BuildBox is it's super easy to copy stuff. Like, so easy. Here's power up magnet. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it so that it shows points, but no coins. And maybe put this, remove that, because we don't want to kill all the enemies, because that will all take care of some of the, the walls and stuff. And that, so this one is the power up magnet. Oops, don't do that. Okay, power up magnet. Let's take a look. So what the power up magnet does is it grabs all the coins and brings it to your character when they're within a certain distance. Uh, like that. And it's only the, the duration is for one second. I've changed the duration to five seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. So, but then you can still get the coins. So depending on like if the coins are like hidden in an area that the character can't get to, maybe you have to get the power-up magnet to get those coins. And again, the, this can be used probably in the best setting of a game that has co coins as the points or, or not, but basically you want these coins. If a character doesn't care about getting the coins because coins don't do anything, then there's no incentive to get the power up magnet that is used to get the coins. Another action item is invincibility. Uh, let's go ahead and move this one back in. So invincibility is exactly what it sounds like, is it makes the character invincible. But let's take a look, because there is a time duration. The duration is one second. Obviously one second isn't enough, so we're gonna do five seconds. So that means, and also it's giving a reward point. Again, this is up to you. Um, I wanted the animation placement, so you can have the animation placement be over the character, over the action item itself, or over the entire screen. That's up to you. Usually character works best, or action if you have an idea of what you want to happen to the action item and then there's overlay and replace overlay means you have an item on top of the character and or action or you just replace the entire character or action item with something new over here so we're just going to keep with character and overlay and there's nothing we don't have anything going on right now but if you wanted to, you could have like, you know, the character have a shield that shows it's invincible, stuff like this. You know what, let's go ahead and grab this and add it to all the scenes. Didn't get in the way. So here's a good example because I'm killing them from behind. So that is making the character invincible. And then the last but not least, we have gameplay so gameplay is probably the best one there is because it can do pretty much anything uh the coolest thing to do is to change the time warp so everything goes in slow motion so and it's also the easiest to do and i'm going to show you that one right now here i'm just going to change the time warp to 10 and you'll see that everything will just now go in slow motion so like oh look at these bad guys and then boom slow motion and again the duration for here is only set for one second but you can let's change it the duration to four seconds so if you're getting influx, a lot of bad guys are like, oh my god, there's a lot of bad guys. Oh, slow motion is always cool. Slow motion is always cool. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Boom. That's just a general overview of the action types. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any ideas for some other tutorials you'd like to see, please let me know. And if I know how to do it, I'll definitely do it. Until then, I'll see you next time.